hi everyone welcome back welcome to my youtube channel and here we are we are going to talk about uber eats clone app i mean uh, sorry for the the delay in publishing the videos because the first video i published uh, uh, i mean like two months back and now i'm sending another videos i was busy with a couple of things but now i have enough time so that i can push this particular playlist and we can talk more about the product design and more about how we can design this uber eats and different microservices so now we are in the the implementation phase but before implementing this all different things from the uber eats let's talk about simple architecture in the layman language like what all different building blocks we are going to have what will be the tools what will be the technologies how our architecture may look like do we need to draw something on the paper and how we are going to manage all these services what all tools and technologies we are going to use this is just a rough sketch which i try to build okay we can use just react or svelte or maybe angular for the front end i'm exploring svelte js so i can use that for building a simple ui we just integrate the apis and start showing the data to the user okay so it can be a react or svelte js so in react js what all apart from the front end from because front end can be rendered from the cdn uh, cloud front and s3 bucket after we build the front end it's all about the data because this is a data intensive application where user is booking the order and then waiting for the delivery we have to track the delivery so this the whole system if you think about it's a very complex system if we talk about the actual uber eats clone or zomato or swiggy clone we see uh, every day these kind of applications which are available on the different interface if you talk about the front end i'm not going uh, i'm not going to use totally out of the box new new technology stack we can use react or next js next js with server side rendering capabilities we can explore okay how this is going to render the the components how this is going to render the data because it's all about how faster we can render the data on the pages that will be the decision that we can take because next js i haven't covered much on my channel also we can we can give it a try or we can also just use create react app type script setup with a tailwind and that should be more than enough now we have a lot of services we need to design and uh, the technology is simple i'm using a lot of uh, content i'm producing a lot of content on the nest js nest js graphql or rest we can just initially we can go with some services built with the nest js uh, with postgres exposing the rest interface so we are going to have multiple services first of all and we cannot allow our front end to talk to each and every service separately so we can introduce either uh, some api gateway which we can write by ourselves in the the nodejs it can be a simple service forwarding the the services service request to the appropriate service or if we deploy to aws or azure then we can use their gateways okay so if you talk about simple user apis i mean we can also either we can use the existing auth zero or some kind of identity provider uh, or we can just write our auth service a simple plain javascript node js service auth service what it does is it has a integration with the twilio you enter your mobile number it will send you the token you enter that because mobile number will be unique for these food ordering app because you will be using these apis from the mobile and you are not in much into the emails so it will be the mobile should be unique and then you can just assign your email and add the addresses and all these things so if you talk about the these individual services individual services like restaurant service user service authentication service and all we have a few set of requirement like restaurant can register themselves user can create update delete user can search the restaurant user can add update the food menu user can add remove uh, food items from the cart like let's say if i try to design okay there can be a restaurant service a uh, first service is a restaurant what this service will do this service is we are going to build with the nest js it will have its own database 
we are thinking that each and every microservice has their own database they will not be using the shared database so this way we can achieve the decoupling that service doesn't know anything about any other service whatever the data it has it is stored it is storing in its own database so the restaurant service you can see restaurant service is something which we are going to use to search the restaurant to see all the list of the restaurant by city wise uh, and all the these different calculations we can do like okay all the the menu items which is served through the restaurant and this service can expose the data through the elastic search because we have we can have thousands or thousands of the restaurant and we need the the quick search on our platform so that search can be enabled through the elastic so this kind of setup we can think of we have the actor which is the client your front end reactor after authentication you can access the restaurant service and this service only deals with the data of restaurant it will expose the data for users to search uh, and we can search through the elastic search we need the basic api service like adding a new menu item for the restaurant users or updating the menu items customer can search the menu item based on the different filters like okay name of the item the, the menu or some particular name so it will be a, a can be a pure elastic search use case then we have the user service so user service has a different use case uh, user service provide a basic authentication features uh, based on mobile number and otp token post login user can update uh, the profile user uh, for users mobile number will be unique because uh, this is what we are using to onboard the users post login user can update the profile populate the user profile data they can add the multiple addresses user can have multiple addresses where the delivery can happen and we are going to track the gps because there will be gps lat and long with the address so that because we can use a google map or some third party uh, map provider and by passing the lat and long we can visualize how it is looking like so this is a user service which is managing the user then we can have a food menu service I, I have already listed all these services user services user apis food menu services it looks like the same service as a restaurant but it has a totally different business it will land the information on the ui when user selects a particular restaurant and wanted to see the all menu items from that from the restaurant sometimes i wanted to just see the menu items provided by the subway or maybe some particular restaurant user can see all the menu items uh, provided by the restaurant and there are different categories okay this is uh, these are the different breads these are the cold drinks beverages all these different things they can add the filters similarly the cart service the service will manage the adding and removing the items inside the cart this service will talk to the food menu service to fetch the details now there will be obviously communications because cart service doesn't have information about the the food menu items the user is trying to order similarly we will have a order service this service will expose the data to the customer okay what all the items are in the cart and what their previous order their, their cancelled order um, and they can search for the the overall history so similarly we have to design all these services these are just like some sort of services delivery service which will track the the information uh, like where is the delivery it's, it provides a real time tracking based on the location of the driver and the order details so these services will be independent while fetching the data food menu service data will be used by the card service the pricing service will use the coupon offers and all these things and we are going to have some kind of asynchronous communications wherever needed because this is this is like a simple e-commerce like you are buying some service online and you need a real-time tracking tracking and all these things so there are many use cases where you can use asynchronous event in different uh, microservices so we already have these decoupled microservices and you can establish the communication because there sometimes there will be a command and event these microservices will be generating where you don't need the reply right away right these will be the fire and forget events for those 
asynchronous tasks and communication you can through an event and then another microservice can act on to that particular event you might be using kafka or sns sqs and all these different technologies tech can be there to deal with asynchronous events so you will you will not lose all these particular events because if you are using asynchronous communication you can track the failures and you can retry all these logics will always be there so this is these are the different services we are going to build now the, the important part is how we are going to structure these services and how what all different tools and technologies we are thinking to use okay so coming to that part because this is uh, the whole big system Heroku for the deployment we can use a GitLab CI I and mean, that is very easy to set up and you can deploy your these different set of applications there uh, I mean we can talk about these things somewhere else instead of this diagram Heroku for just deploying our services because that is quick and easy and we can use GitLab we, we, we can skip thinking about okay AWS and Azure for the infra needs we can just use the the, the whatever free we are getting from the Heroku we can deploy all these services uh, on Heroku and then allow the inter-service communication we can think about some using either RabbitMQ and something uh, some something these kind of tools to allow asynchronous communication okay our application can be a simple react or next JS or spelled JS that we can decide but these are the possible options because now we are going through the implementation phase we can we can look into all different tools and technologies we can use we can use monorepo uh, learn a monorepo to manage all these services uh, front and back and all these code together that will be one of the the good thing we can use we can just create some visual packages so Larna is going to manage all those things together and we are still thinking about the rest based approach but we can also think of using or exposing these rest interface through the graphql gateway so there are a lot of lot of uh, possible options whenever you design a new product you will always think about different possible solutions because there are multiple technologies and multiple interfaces you can expose it depends on how much how far you want to go in designing this solution okay so let's see in the next video we will try to finalize all these aspects and start building things